Welcome, welcome. Welcome. To Elden Ring is what we're doing. I don't know why. I was just trying to think of something to play, and I think the thumbnail I made for the game is pretty funny. So, I went with this. And that's what we're doing. Okay. I haven't played this in a while, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit while I relearn how to do things. I haven't even cleared out this town yet. I played once before. Um, I played as a depraved. I think it was. The one that starts with nothing. And I managed to get past this camp and a little bit further, but not much beyond that. <laughs> Most tedious game in history. It's quite a, uh, quite a feat there. It didn't drop nothing. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I have for games of Five Nights at Freddy's. I think I only have Sister Location. Because I think that was a free one. And I'm not even sure it's an actual Five Nights at Freddy's game. Come on. You gonna come at me or what? Get anything from this? I feel like there's supposed to be a something. Jumping. I cannot. You laugh, but I was joking earlier about playing it in the last stream. You dropped a thing. What do you drop? A smithing stone. That was a somebody got up there. How do you do that? I don't remember what the jump button is. I don't even remember if there is one. Oh, there it is. Why? The other games I don't think had jump. Lord Swarm's Great Sword. Nice. Sounds good. I usually like Great Sword builds. They're pretty fun. Custom Knights and Pizzeria Simulator is free. Hmm. That's good to know. I had forgotten I could jump. A flail. That's interesting. 
I hadn't seen any weapons like that around yet. I feel like I'm playing a bit more like a ninja than a samurai. That fella right there. What's he doing? Not sure what his pathing looks like. And that one kind of looks like boss type, or at least the strongest one here. Commander. There's one sleeping. Is that what they're doing? Sleeping there? Oh, I see. That's one with a horn. So if I can take him out, I can at least prevent him alerting anybody. One hiding over there. I think. They might be dead. Nope, they're alive. Can't tell what they got for equipment. Hello there, welcome. out of there real quick. Aim for critical hit. Yep. Uh, underground tomb. Okay. Nothing in there. I guess it's a spot I could hide. That's about it. see anybody else right there. Maybe I can take this one out. Oh, nope. I could not. Nope. Get out of there. Get out. They got me.
Um, basic story. I was trying to come up with names. I had a few listed out and a bunch of them were already taken. So as I was trying to come up with names, I was watching Alpha Rad that evening and he made a comment about how in a recent thing that he had done, he appeared top of the list for credits because his name started with an A. And I found that really, really funny. So I said, well, how about doing two A's then? Because that's even funnier. And so I tried to come up with, what could I use for two A's? And settled on Ard because it kind of means dirt. And so the name's like Dirtbot, Dirt Robot, Earthbot. Oops. A dog just watching me. Oh, wait, I forgot. I have, a, like, a horse or something, don't I? I don't remember how to activate it. Or at least a horse-like thing. Sure, where to put points? Yeah. There we go. That's a bit more like a, a mule or something than a horse. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I can get on. Nope, I guess not. Uh, that button. Sorry, I just wanted to touch the thing. Goodbye. And goodbye again. Gonna steal your stuff and run. Now I know that there is like a small tomb in there somewhere. I don't remember what it has though for stuff in it. I think it's over in that side where that dog was. I wonder if I can aggro this big guy and get him out of the way. Yeah, 
it's not going to. Thought he saw something. That worked. Okay. Come on. Dougie. Oh, one hit. Didn't expect that. Get out! another one. Like a really big chest. If I can open it. Hello, Dougie. Dougie, I'm right here. <laughs> that was my thought as well. Could this be? No decoy. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay, sure. A whetstone knife. You can use Ashes of War to grant armaments new skills. What? Storm Swoop. I don't remember this. Okay, I think that's everything that was going to be here, except for maybe, uh, dealing with this guy. I might be able to. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good. Got him. No, no. Nope. I didn't realize I would only do half damage to him. All right, come on. One on one. Oh, 
Hey, that was way too close for comfort. Nice. Got his helm, though. I took your hat. Is there anything else in there for me? I guess I can go up to that other stone up this way I was looking at. I have no idea. Oh, it does drop my damage a lot. No, I don't want that. Have any spells? I don't. No, I don't have any. <laughs> nope, don't have none. Sacred tear, I don't believe I have that either. I think this is one of those ones that's very difficult. Uh oh. Hmm, maybe I don't want to go that way. Okay. That thing's pointing that way, but I suppose I could go around, maybe? Is there a path that way? It doesn't really look like it. It's a lot of cliff face there. There is a road up here, though. So if I follow that, I might be able to get there. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, I've got enough. I don't need to worry about it yet. Oi. You, you there. Could you oh yeah, this is that guy that ends up invisible. Sorry, I can't see you.
Can go north, maybe? Instead? that was I probably shouldn't have run straight into it oh there's a lot of those things up there I didn't even see all of them before can't really get up there. That's the bridge I could cross. But I think I need to follow the road to get that. Maybe I could jump across right there? You're up to thing. The flight pinion. What's this? It looks like an updraft. Oh. Okay. I guess this is a way up there. Oh, you got some hop to him. Oh, that was easy. Didn't even have to go around. And that's the road, I think. Nothing up here. There's guards and other things down there. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, nope. Hey, I'm not dead. Can I not get injured if I'm on the horse? In terms of fall damage, at least. Hello, what's up? Um, it would be in the, uh, the kind of mix used to make it. Where, I believe a bagel has yeast. And a donut does not. I would say it'd be something like that, maybe. That would at least be my guess. Oh, I haven't found this guy before. Hello, how are you? That's some fancy armor. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? 
Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Sure, why not? Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished like you. Nice. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I can't afford any of them. There's a myriad of battle arts in Memento the Fine. That's how I fell in love with the sword. And the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle. To death itself. Okay, so this gives some Ashes of War stuff. That could be a good one to put on the katana. Yeah, I feel like if I'm going to go with a katana, I might want to grab something that has keen on it instead of like heavy or standard. Not floating your boat. Well, there's Oh, I'm guessing those blood stains might do, be there cuz they tried to kill him. Could be. Got him. Weird. He just blotted me. I can jump the right way. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken, even their heads taken. Sounds strange. Taken and stuck. I'm guessing that's a boss I have to fight later. Did you know? A spider of many faces. Spider, you become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. 
I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too weird. scared. I'm That's really person. weird. No, I, I, I can't really say you're a, you're a craven for not wanting your head cut off. Oh. Neat. What's that? Spirit calling bell. You can use ashes to summon various spirits. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Does that even mean? It was a pleasure to see you. Oh. Okay. I'm finally getting... <laughs> a very powerful jump. Got some very strong legs. What's in here? Can I get in this? Looks like there's no way inside it. Absolutely a cult. 100% talking to her. Definitely. Yes, please chop my head off and put me on the spider. Yeah, that's that's things normal people say, right? What does this look like? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that looks really funny. It's a bit thin. <laughs> it kind of squished my skull in. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. Oh boy. Just gotta make it fit. Okay, those are from multiplayer stuff. Okay, let's uh, go pick a fight with these guys up here. Like an arrow sticking out of my back. Neat, a smoldering butterfly. I have no idea what it does. 
It just, it just sounds neat. That's all. Oh, I think that's the thing I need for upgrading my flask. Just run past him, I guess. I got it. Not sure what I got. of these guys here. Oh, I didn't realize these were enemies. I thought they were something else. They're birds. They're not birds. They're giant bats. Okay, that was surprising. I was not expecting giant bats. A good night to you as well. And thank you for stomping in. And I hope you can join tomorrow.
Please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Oh, bless you. Oh. Head to the foundation of gold tarnished. Traverse Rhea Lucaria, Glintstone Eventide, and reunite the half crescents at the Grand Lift. Oh, but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. Only, why should that matter? Stormvale Castle still stands tall. Daddy? I'm not sure what that was about. You. No. You. no, that's the thing I already did. Safe, right? I'm not gonna die going to the end of this, right? I think I should read these first. Sorceries down below. I could go for some sorcery. Oh, I see to jump up, maybe. Here, here, what? Nothing. There's people being silly. Passage. Uh, I feel like I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. Usually is. No death. <laughs> yeah, sure. No death. Mm hmm. Yep. That certainly looks like no death to me. It's dark in here. What's that? Just a path around a rock, I guess. Being wary of hole. Yeah, I think so.
god. <laughs> well, they definitely, uh, haunt me. It's zigzag. Thing on it. What does she want? Of the earth tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. Also, I hear you can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Upon the cliff. In Castle Stormvale is a shard bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. Sure, what to upgrade. There's always this thing I run into with these games. I would like to open up some ability to do other things, but I don't. I don't know which ones to get, really. Like, how much does intelligence affect? I don't know. Jump, jump, jump. Item, um, why do we not have item crafting? Am I missing something for crafting? I'm not sure what. Okay, so it's pointing me up to the castle to go into the castle. Let's go check him out. See what he's got. I don't remember what he has. My game crashed. My game just crashed. Good job. Well, let's boot it back up. I'm not sure what happened there. What was I trying to do? I was trying to fast travel. That's what I was trying to do.
I'm not sure what just happened. The game crashed and kicked me out. What the? What? What the? What? I just fell through the world. This way tarnished. May I have a word? Yeah, here we go. Pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about the like two heads. Steed. One of them's a ghost. Looking into the matter, the talk I surmise is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Yes, I can. As I had hoped, I can do that. I was entrusted this for thee. By Torrent's former master. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Why I couldn't spawn Can't anybody. Falling forth, spear summoned them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Fist? Forgive my Vicious? name, tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Interesting. Can I get up here? I feel like jumping around, but I accidentally killed the merchant. Uh, I should probably not do that. I do have some, but I don't have enough points anymore to actually do anything. Where did those end up? Um, where's my death marker? I don't know. I guess they're just gone. Whoa. Oh, for a second, I thought he was in a Santa outfit. Wait. He's just like, what are you wearing? Well, you're back. That could be useful. I could see that having a lot of uses. <laughs> really? More raging than War Thunder. I could see that, though. I don't have enough for any of these. I feel like I should just stay in this area for a second and Goodbye. buy a bunch of things from him. How much are these worth? Hi! Oh, um, okay, they roll. Yeah, I want to say hi. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Oh, hello.
I just heard something shimmering. Okay. That's kind of different, but okay. I thought those were coming after me. It says my death marker is way back there. Where did it end up? Um, where did it end up? Doesn't show it anywhere. Hi. These are for. Are they like just stones I can throw? They must be. It's got to be something easy if they're all over the place like that. That deer was just watching. No witnesses. That's pretty cool. What do you have to say about this? Me? Yes, you. For my purpose, given to me by my mother inside the earth tree, long ago, for the reason that I yet live, burned. And bodiless. There is something for which I must apologize. I've acted the finger maiden, yet can offer no guidance. I am no maiden. My purpose was long ago lost. That's okay. Shall I turn your room? Let my hand share them. Um, no, I, I was just checking how many I had. I'm good there, actually. I don't even have a torch to, uh, go in there with. Sorry. 
what those are. Ooh, that thing looks terrible. They remind me of the mosquitoes from the blood swamp. Is this a turtle? Hi. Hello, turtle. How are you? Hi. Okay, you have a good day. Hmm? It's like an item right there. Or is that the item that thing dropped? If there's anything over in here, I can go check that out. Once I go and buy a couple items from this guy. Wait, well, you're back. Okay, that's how I craft. I need the crafting kit. I have 728 points. I should probably just buy the crafting kit first then. Oh wow, that's wild. Nice. Four more to go to 200. That's exciting. Very cool. Goodbye. Nice to Thank you to everyone that has subscribed. You're all awesome. Very cool people. Yeah, I don't think I need to regen my stuff. I already have full. I didn't end up using any against those. That's some really bad posture. Oh. That's... I wasn't expecting that. There's something over there. Trina's Lily. That one didn't die. There you go. You are freed from your life. Good luck in the next. What were they even doing over here? Like digging or stuff? There's so many things. I always feel weird when there's a ton of messages that pop up. But it looks like this one might just be for a gate. Why is it always dog? 
Stormfoot Catacombs. That's different. Now I've got a new place I can explore. Oh. That's peculiar. Why is there a ghost sitting down? Hello there. Where are you sitting? How are you? Into the air tree. Mm. Okay, that's all they say. I can't say I like the look of that. Oh, yeah. Okay, something just attacked them from in there. I don't know if that reset all the enemies. I don't remember if I actually rested at it. Okay, it did. Leave them dead. Okay, so I didn't actually rest at it. I just unlocked it. gives five. Probably not worth shooting them. Although, I'm not sure what the animal parts are used for, so they might be useful. I haven't tried the crafting yet. Again, what do you have to sell me? I bought that. I can buy those. And Goodbye. those couple of notes, but I don't really think I want those. Honestly, this is probably what I want to do instead, is just upgrade my weapon. Also, I can't remember. Does anybody know if you can still two-hand the weapons? I have not been able to find how to switch to a two-handed. If I just unequip things? Do I need to have an open spot? Well, there is one right there. Crafting menu. Okay, so those do use those ruin fragments I've been picking, picking up. I think these are the things that are kind of like leaving trail markers for yourself. It's an odd one.
Host of Fingers. What a weird name. Oh, darts. Weird. Not set of items. Let's go check out that uh, dungeon over here. Or tomb, catacomb, I don't know what it is. It's small, not a whole lot in it, I don't think. straight here and let's go see how this goes guess what mine does bleed too buddy Like a mausoleum or something. A crypt. Oh boy, just what I wanted. Garbage. Can't say I know how to use it. Locked by some contraption. I'm guessing deeper in here? Oh, he's sitting right there. Oops, I'm out of arrows. Uh, how do I swap it? There we go. Does that not work? What are they? Well, I guess I'm out of arrows then. I ain't got a lot of points. I'm just going to go fight. Be wary of right. Why? Why? Oh, 
my. That's, um... Hmm. Okay. Looks very warm. I don't have anything for a projectile. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. I'm guessing you can't travel while inside a building. You can't fast travel. Something like that. Oh good, now it one-shots these when I hit them since I upgraded the katana. Welcome. You can, but you need to defeat the boss. Uh, on what? I don't remember what I said. <laughs> I think I need to make some ammo. Wait a minute. I could have probably just made ammo while I was in there. I wasn't even thinking. That gives me a couple. I think I really have enough to buy much at the moment. Oh, that's cool. Welcome. You're back. Care to buy something? These men, what are they for? Goodbye. I'm getting myself confused trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Okay, uh, that cave I have not finished either because I could not see. So I kind of want to go see what's in here. Since I bought a torch. There's also a summon sign. Thank you for joining. I'm playing some Elden Ring. I have not played a lot of it, um, but I've played the previous games, Dark Souls, things like that. <laughs> what was that? Dog can move. Oh, 
that's a big in. Oh, that was a big one. I hope that was the last of them. I'm gonna guess it wasn't. What the? I do not like seeing these red ones. They just remind me of like the red phantoms. Cave moss. Can I like light these? Can't really tell. Um, I guess I can hold LB to lift it up. Uh, there's a dog. So I forgot to equip those. <laughs> Ill-omened creature ahead. That's a great sign. That sounds wonderful. A crackpot. Sure, how well that was gonna go. Sometimes I attack too early and I just die. I don't know what's down here. I don't really have enough points to go check. I can't level up or anything. Let's go just look. Oh, boss door. I see. Time for fire. I don't have anything for a fire weapon. If I ranged, I don't have enough arrows for that. Um, I'll come back here. Not too difficult, though. Clearing out the wolves was not that big of a hassle. They tend to just kind of come running at you. I see, that's what you meant. Okay, that makes sense. That you can't uh, fast travel into, fast travel out of a catacomb or similar until you have defeated the boss inside it. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. It's like this one I wouldn't be able to either because there's, there's still a boss in there. I wonder if I could take this one on. I don't know. How many potions do I got? Four? One? Screw it. We're gonna try. Uh, not super frequently, but I would definitely be up for playing more. I have a few different jets for DCS and a couple different uh, prop planes. This is going to go swimmingly. I know that for certain. Oh, God. 
He moves too fast. What is this? Oh no! Well, that went about like I expected. 100% like I expected. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I'm gonna take a short intermission and I will be right back. We are at 197 subs. We got three more to go and I'm not stopping till we hit it. I am currently at one hour and 30 minutes on this stream. So I'll be right back about five minutes. Thank you all for joining.
Okay, everyone, I am back with my second NOS for the evening. Till we hit 200, I'm gonna keep going. All right. So, is the boss in that first, the catacomb, easier than this one? Out of the two. I don't think I'm gonna get my souls back from that. This is a very pretty game. It's got a lot of good graphics to it. This one didn't even notice me. Just running straight at his friend. What kind of a friend are you? Huh? What kind of a friend are you? Oh, that's right. There's like this, uh, there's like a knight or something around here, isn't there? That's fairly strong. Hmm. Hello there, welcome! Uh, is that like a Mega Man password? Yes, I am. Because it's tech. Because I'm going by the rule of until you go to sleep, it's still the same day you were on. So it's technically still September. I'm going to go with. I can't say I have any idea what you what you just said. I'm not sure. Oh look, I can upgrade the torch. Actually, would that work well? Using it as a weapon, with swinging it around, it does do a hundred fire damage. Oh my! It might not be that bad, actually. To try taking on that knight over there. I'm just gonna rest here first so I can respawn here when I die. Because I probably will. But I wanna go see how strong he is.
I, th I think that's what you said the other night while I was playing um, <laughs> the Backrooms game. <laughs> oh! Hey, Dad. Say so, man. You should probably get some sleep. You know what? I can take that guy. Well, they are slightly different dialects. Same language, but different dialect. Yeah, I think it's like an effect of YouTube and media in general, because if you go and watch any, like, popular streamer, you'll notice that there's almost never a second of dead air. Give me corpse. Where's my corpse? There it is. What's that? Tree Sentinel. That's his name. Actually, can I hit him with a bow? Well, on horseback. Nope, it doesn't look like I can. I was very much nearly dead there. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of that. Was very close. Too close. Be a little bit too much to do, but I think he'd probably one shot me if I didn't. And his horse nearly stomped me. Get out, get out, get out. Nope. Didn't get out. Dead. Eh, he might be a little bit too tough for me right now. I know that if I was just better at dodging, I'd probably be fine. 
but I'm 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 not good at dodging. Oh well, go pick up my souls. Okay. So I do not have a crossbow though. So they're not very useful to me. Almost fell out of bed. <laughs> yeah, I think you might want to try and get some sleep as soon as you can. Sleep deprivation does some weird things to your brain. I guess at least these uh, bugs that are floating around in this pond. And he fell. Um, they're at least not mosquitoes. So that's something. Oh wow, those got a... A lot of drop to them. Not very good. Oh, I didn't even know that they left a th thing when you use them. There we go. Got him. A great dragonfly head. I have no idea what these things are. That's different. I didn't know you could do that. How do I swap which arrow I'm using? Don't see it. Almost bet that thing pop or something. I don't know what it is. Now it's rolling. Okay. A slumbering egg. I don't know what that is. Oh, those, like, always drop their skulls. It feels weird.
I have. Um, I used to play a lot of Kerbal Space Program. And it's one of the games that I'm looking to add into playing regularly at some point, once I finish my mod set for it. I kind of take a few moments here and there to work on the set of mods that I use to play. And I had everything set at one point in time, and then they released a patch and broke it again. But yeah, Kerbals is definitely going to be something that I end up playing in the future. I'll keep that in mind, because I do really like that game. True. Yep, yeah, Mars first. That was fun. I had a lot of fun with that one. I feel like it's one of those ones, though, that I don't want to push too hard into it because I don't want to exhaust everything that's there while it's in early access. But I think doing Kerbal Space Program would be a really good way to go. Glowstone, cured meat, cured meat. I'm gonna go with this. I can make some arrows. Goodbye. But I'll take a look at what the roadmap is for Mars First Logistics, because I think that would probably help me figure out when to play it. Fletched. I have one. I guess they make them fly better? Yep, I do. I have a Ryzen 7 2700X. A... About... I think 32 gigs of RAM. And... An RTX 3060... Ti? I think I have. I have the 8 gigabyte model instead of the 12 gigabyte model. And that was purposeful. The bit width of the 8 gigabyte model is larger than the 12 gigabyte model. So it technically can handle textures better than the 12 gigabyte model just because it can load them in and out of memory much faster. Uh, beyond those, I use a 27-inch uh, HDR monitor. It's one of the reasons sometimes I have issues with colors in games and trying to get it to match correctly. Oh yeah, usually I play with Kerbals like modded straight to the nines. I missed. Oh well, they get to live this time. Alright, I want to go see what this other boss looks like over in this uh, catacomb. Uh, my favorite mods are usually the ones that add the um, extra cockpits and stuff for like actual clicky cockpits and the MFDs. Uh, the last time I played Kerbals, I did a completely first person only playthrough. And it required using a mod so that even when you're using a Kerbal, it forces the game to use first-person view while moving around as the Kerbal. Which can make the EVAs and stuff really cool.
think he was glowing last time. The proper death. Can I kill him? What happens if I attack him? I don't think I should. They don't come after me if I don't go in there, right? I don't think they do. Okay. <laughs> nice. That's still pretty fun to do. That was a waste. All right, got him. Yeah, I typically like playing with uh, the Interstellar mod pack, um, as well as a lot of the more science and scanning based uh, stuff. New games I'm looking forward to. You know, it's actually felt like it's been a bit tough on new games lately. Um, one problem I feel is I'm not really looking forward to anything from AAA Studios very much. Oh, there's somebody there. Oh, crap. Okay, that works. Um, for the most part, a lot of my favorite games that I've found recently are all indie games. I don't uh, typically keep up on them. Oh no! Well, I guess this is a safe spot. Okay, that works. I didn't even realize that would do that. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, it just feels like anything that's actually pushing gaming forward is all coming from indie studios. Flyout is one that I've seen before. That looked really interesting. I have no idea how many of those things are in that room. But it's like, even among some games that I really enjoy, they're all falling to the same issues that I see from AAA games. Like, I love City Skylines, uh, like Planet Coaster, games like that, but they've become so overwhelmed with DLC and just honestly poorly thought out DLC half the time that they're becoming the very thing that they were trying to not be. There was a few of them there. I didn't even realize how many there was. There's four of them. Um. Hmm. How do I... How do I swap what arrow I'm trying to use? Okay, there. Yeah, 
yeah, Paradox has definitely become more of a problematic company the more successful they've become. Although I think one of the top when it comes to that sort of stuff is definitely like Activision Blizzard and I'm probably going to catch some hate for this one, but Nintendo. Nintendo, honestly, very problematic company. It's just as soon as they got successful, they've shown really nothing but contempt for their users. You know, put in the lowest common denominator, least amount of effort you can. Oh, Jesus, he caught me on a surprise. Oh, I didn't even know I could so. Yeah, and that's like part of the issue, really, is they don't grow their games. Like, think about how long it took them to adapt Pokemon, of all things, their billion dollar franchise, and to actually make a 3D one. It took them forever. Like many years past when it would have mattered. Yeah, for the most part, for me, you know, the Wii U came out. Uh, for the most part, me growing up, I had the other set of consoles. Um, I was the Sega Genesis, PlayStation, and those were what I had. And I think that was, had something to do with me getting into computer engineering to a degree. <laughs> Just because Sega has always, was always huge on technology and just attempting wild things. There's gonna be one right there around the corner too. I see him. All right, there's those two done. I hate that. You're gonna make me fall and then there isn't going to be. Oh, nope, there it is. Hmm. Yeah, uh, the thing with Nintendo is honestly when it when they try when they try and actually put in the effort for it They are really really good at game design like Honestly one of the masterclass companies when it comes to game design The problem is is that every single time in their history that they have come out ahead and are doing well they slack off so badly. Yep. 
when when they try, they produce some really well designed games. The problem is, is that half the time, the only way they'll try is when they're doing poorly as a company. I just heard like, oh. You're just gonna keep trying to throw. <laughs> yes, Advance Wars, uh, it was from Nintendo. It was published by Nintendo. And it used to be called Nintendo Wars and was originally published on the NES. Uh, I have the Advance Wars game on Switch, actually. Because that was one of the games I grew up with. Yeah, Advance Wars is a good one. It was uh, probably one of my first introductions to war games, which is now a genre that I really enjoy playing. Um, it is a little bit weird that they go with squares instead of hexes, considering most of the wargaming community moved to hexes long ago. But I think it works for them because they're trying to be an introduction to, th to it, not the end-all be-all of it. Wandering Noble. But yeah, Advance Wars is great. But it's like, that's a series that's also had its ups and downs pretty badly. Was I looking to equip? I was looking for something to equip. What was it? Oh, one of these. Five wandering nobles? That seems bizarre. A jellyfish. That one's fun. <laughs> Let's go with that one. <laughs> that sounds pretty silly. Can I, can I cast the jelly? No? Why not? Do I need a separate thing? It's that bell, isn't it? Um, that summoning bell? Oh, wait, it has a stored spirits. Do I have to fight stuff until I can actually summon it? And the gate is opened. All right, let's head back to the front, heal up real quick, and then we'll head through the gate and go see what this looks like. I wanna know what this boss is, cause the other one is a jumpy, stabby wolf man. So I'm gonna guess this one's a uh, jumpy, stabby frog man. Dark. Changes the lighting a lot when you actually lift it up. All right, let's do this. What in the world? It's a cat. Hello, kitty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
I do not like how that thing moves. Get away from me. Oh my god. What the hell is this? What the fuck is this? I don't like this thing. This is freaking creepy. All right. All right. Oh, that hurt. that one. Dog, that don't look like a dog. And he killed me. Wow, that thing has a fast strike. It's wearing a crown. I only just noticed that. But you know what? That seems like a boss I can take. Well, we're at 197 right now, so we still got three to go. Alright, I'm going to try fighting this boss again. I think I can take him. I think so. We'll see. All right. And he hits me first thing. What the? Why is he hitting me so much more now? Jeez, he does more damage. This is not going well. Ah, well, I wasn't expecting that. My god, that strike is so fast. Yeah, as long as I can hit it, I seem to do good damage to it. Trying to think what was the last uh, AAA game I played. Is Elden considered AAA? I'm not really sure it is. It feels more like AA or something because From Software is not exactly a big company. Okay, let's try again. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. Come on, you bastard. Come at me. Oh my god, he strikes so fast. I got greedy, I got greedy.
Oh, Starfield is one that I would like to try out, but it felt like the price was just too high at the moment. Why does it feel like sometimes that hits me and sometimes it doesn't? I think three strikes is what I want to go with there. I don't know what that does. It's got a jellyfish now. Hello, jelly. How are you? Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Especially for what they're actually doing. There isn't anything super new anymore happening. And it's like, yeah, games could command more of a price when they were actually trying and doing stuff that's interesting. Get out, get out, get out. Come on. I got a little bit of health left. No, no, not this again. I hate that attack. It's so hard to dodge. Uh, thought he was gonna come closer. Yeah, it really is. The game is, uh, it's like Mega Man in that way. You gotta learn the pattern. All right, very close that time. I can do this. I kind of liked the jellyfish. I'm not really sure what it does, um, but it worked. Kept him busy. Although maybe using one of the other ones could be better. It seemed maybe that one has more health. Could be. Oops. Uh, switch view. No, nope, that's not right doesn't really say how much they have. This is three wolves. And the three nobles. Five wandering noble spirits. I'm gonna change that to wolves. Okay. Let's try again. I can do this. Very close that time. Cat demon. I also love Minecraft. Minecraft is easily one of my favorite games. That thing don't do a ton of damage, but you know what? It's better than nothing. I'll take it. That one missed. We 
turned his head completely around to watch me. Yeah, Minecraft is easily a top 10, top 10, probably even top 5 game for me. In fact, I would say it's part of what got me into engineering school and interested in engineering, that and Kerbal Space Program. Focus. Oh, it's there. Just pay attention to what he's doing. Don't get greedy. All right, this one. Get out, get out. Okay. Uh oh. What is that? Why is there a mist forming? Okay, it thinks it's just the environment. Got him! Got him! Oh, Minecraft, I pretty much only play modded. If I don't have tons of tech mods and all kinds of things keep me busy, Minecraft is boring. Honestly. And I used to play in the alpha. Yeah, I think when I bought Minecraft, I paid... 13 Swedish dollars for it. Could this be a rump? I have no idea. Okay, let's take a look here. We've got a ton of corpses. All strewn up, connected to the tree. Okay, beautiful, good. Chunky, chunky, chunky. And I don't really see anything else in here. What was the point of fighting that? What was the point of fighting that? I thought they'd be items. I thought they'd be prizes. Guess not. But, boss defeated. Mmm, games you can play constantly. Tycoon games can be good for that, if you're into that kind of game. Well, I guess there ain't nothing else doing here. At least, I don't think so. What happens if I go back to the boss room? Nothing? Nothing out here? Yep, nothing. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Victoria is a worldwide economic simulator from Paradox. Hmm, I kind of wish this had a thing denoting that it was beaten. But one down.
Thunder Navy isn't that bad. I've been playing it every Wednesday. And I like it. There's definitely things to like about it. I wish they would reorganize the tree a little bit better so that there was more of multiple types of vessels engaging instead of just destroyer versus destroyer and that sort of thing. I'm not sure what that thing he's holding is. It looks kind of like an instrument. Holy water and roped holy water. I think that's one of the things I like about the Navy in War Thunder is that you can use your planes in the Navy matches. I think the biggest issue when it comes to that though is really that um, they don't have any modern ships. Same. Oh, I heard an uh, interesting thing related to the F-15 in games and as to why we don't see it more often. Goodbye. And it is because apparently back in the day when DCS was lock on, it was published by Ubisoft and Ubisoft owns some sort of right and copyright or something to the F-15C. And to me, that's stupid. Like, that's all I can say for that, is that it's just stupid. Okay, well, we beat one of them bosses. Yeah, but like think about all the games that we play with these jets in them and how many of them have all of them except the F-15. And it's like even, yeah, I know that's the weirdest part is like, how did they even get it? Um, it was something to do with how they published it. When it when DCS was lock on, it definitely strikes me as one of those. Well, that's an odd thing to happen in games. Oh boy, okay. We still need three more subs, so anybody that's not in here, get in here. Nice. Yeah, I... I should look it up a little bit more so I can learn the full story for it, because it's definitely wild, but I totally believe that sort of thing happening, because copyright is a broken system now, and it doesn't have any right to exist anymore. It serves no purpose anymore in this day and age. Especially with how they end up changing things. It's like how they change the patent system. And mostly just to favor corporations. <laughs> yeah, buy the rights to the F-18. That'd be pretty funny.
Let's head over here and head south. Actually, I can probably head south this way. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, so anyone in Discord, go ahead and toss the link in. <laughs> See if we can snag a sub or two so I can get some sleep today. Yeah, at some point, probably within the next hour or so, I'm probably going to start going loopy, just because I'm starting to get tired, too. But the show must go on. just noticed these are like the summoning things that I've come across. Don't that look inviting? F-15 is also one they could add to the Japan tree since it's one of the few that they use. I'm not sure who else uses it. I think it might have only been the US and Japan. God, I wish I could. That'd be amazing. Oh yeah, this weird guy over here. That you run into at the beginning of the game. He just kind of laughs at you. He's like, hey, 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 hey. Look at you. Hey, hey, hey. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly. To Castle Stormvale. Over on the cliff. Oh, it must be that castle. Decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. Oh, Israel. Okay. I didn't realize Israel had had 15s as well. How do you get to that? It's like just kind of an island out at sea. Is there like a path? It looks like there'd be a sandbar or something right there. Yeah, it looks like I can go this way. Alright, let's just do this then. Or not. <laughs> wow. I fell from a distance some time ago and I thought I was safe on the horse, but it appears, no. You're not. So there's that. I've learned something new. Okay. You are not safe on the horse from falling damage.
Yeah, photosynthesis as an ability. Um, you know what? Actually, there's an anime that that was in. Uh, Netflix original Knights of Cydonia. Like, half the population are genetically modified to use sunlight as an energy source. Oh, that don't look pleasant. Okay, I'm good there. Yeah, I imagine that's a death pool. Don't think. Yeah, Knights of Cydonia was one of those weird ones. I started watching, kind of liked it, and then they pulled a really, really stupid plot point, and then I hated it. I don't think most people ever talk when they watch things. Oh my god. No, I'm getting out of here. This is not the place for me to be. There is, though. Okay, good. Alright, we are nearly at three hours I have been streaming this game now. I don't think I want to be near those things. They look gross. My birthday's in September. We've already passed it. Oh, it's a crab. Look at the crab. Is that undead? No. I don't think it is. A white or something. I guess I can deal with the winners. Pretty cool. Hello. 
Dude hit hard. Okay, that's them dealt with. Ooh, that's nice. I got a new sword. Let's just equip it. I can use it. Nice. Uh, it's it's much shorter. Yeah, it's it's much shorter. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stick with this one for now. It does do bleed damage as well, which is pretty nice. Okay, I think that's another one of the um, grace points. I don't know what they call them. A waypoint, runestone, bonfire, warp pad. Yeah, um, I think it's a little better. It's about the same. It's got a higher critical, too. But I don't get the bleed. And I'm not sure how much reach counts in this game. It would depend on how the hitboxes are done. <laughs> yes. Yep, that's kind of how it goes sometimes, it feels. The mobs give you the goodies and the bosses just make you suffer. Oh, they're alive. I wasn't sure what those things were. Um, okay. What those are. Um, they're strange. That's for certain. Wary of strong foe. I see. Probably something spawns out of that, I imagine. I'm wondering if those have something to do with it. What is he doing? I'm not sure what these are. They're like snake rock? I'm not sure. Definitely bizarre. But they're all pointing this mystical energy at the center, and it means I don't trust it. If I can hit it.
Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to kill these things or not. I suppose I'm gonna find out. That's for certain. I think that's all of them dead. Maybe. I guess. Make the sound of that. Bird dashing through. Group ahead. Try taking on all at once. Seek wolf, try ruins. Gal. Alright, let's do it. I don't know what it is. I still have no idea what it is. Oh no. Oh. I'm dead. Well, that went quick. Sure, what the stake of Marika is. Sure, I'm not sure what that does. What does it do? Oh, this thing. Oh, hey, my points. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to take that one on right now. That one's a bit stompy and mean. One of these statues. Must be a boss in that way? It does seem like there's a lot more bosses in this game. Especially scattered around bosses.
Let's have a lot of stuff in them. Fluent in Japanese. Congratulations, that must have taken a lot of work. The non-stop talking. It can be hard to do. I think it's easier if you have ADHD. Just gonna pilfer all these graves. That surely won't come back to haunt me, right? Oh, what's that? I see a bright lit up thing over there. That's gross. It's another one of those ghosts that we went to before. It looks a lot like them. I don't know if we're going to be able to break 200 tonight. Is that a piece of grace there? Bounchian, that's fun. Not a new weapon. Good for business. Oh, okay. I don't get it. Kind of looks like a path. That looks like a bear. Oh, it was a path. Welcome. Dear nice, it was. Yes, right this way. Right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Please, I'm hungry. Right shield.
80 physical. Mm. Guarded damage negation, though, it does go up to 100%. That'd be something I just want to grab and hang on to. And these. I'm going to go ahead and get those. It weighs a bit more. Uh, it does take me up to heavy load. I might want to wait and upgrade. Upgrade my endurance, I think, before I go doing that. Yeah, I have this feeling that if the merchant's right there, there must be a waypoint nearby. Minor Erd Tree. Okay. I haven't really found any other Erd Trees, so that's neat. Oh, it's this thing, I imagine. Yeah, that happens. I think part of it is just because I'm uh, new on streaming. If I was, like, I see a lot of channels that have only ever made, like, one or two things, and they still end up getting a good amount of um, subscribers, and it's just a matter of time, I think. Like, if I was to stop making anything and just leave for a year, I'd probably come back to a couple thousand subscribers. But I'm more interested in the continued growth. Um, for a variety of reasons. One is just the singing, dancing, things like that are popular for, like, regular people. I'm not sure how to word it. Or the average person, I think would be the better way to put it. It's something that anyone can do, is to sing badly. And so that forms like a relationship between the streamer and the audience. It's kind of like why a lot of streamers that even get big still try to maintain that small streamer look and feel is because that's a lot of why people watch them is because they feel like a small streamer. It's like you think about the ones like uh, honestly Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, they're in their small little room that they have set up for their recording where it's just that. You never really see much else. And so it helps maintain that illusion that they've just got that little room. Oh, I can see the Erd tree. That's neat. What is that? I think it's a bear.
I don't know who either of them are. Uh, my key YouTubers that I watch are Let's Game It Out, um, Angry Tom from the Ogscast. He's like the only person from the Ogscast I follow anymore besides Duncan. And I don't really watch his stuff anymore. Angry, I like watching his stuff. He's chill. Um, Markiplier. Alpha Rad. Oh, I see. Yeah, I actually don't watch anybody that plays War Thunder. I just kind of stream me playing it. <laughs> and then when I want to watch it, I end up having to watch my own anyway. Feels like there's maybe somebody up in the tree. He's trying to get it down. That's the kind of feel I'm getting there. Right. What map? And this looks like a dungeon. Tranquility required. Nice. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, I, I would definitely, if I start getting bored, I'm very liable to do something stupid. And I think that helps. I don't deal with boredom well. We can put it that way. Wow, this is pretty. This is really pretty. <laughs> that's, wow, that's such a weird thing to just, like, talk about. Like that. I think that's one of the things that's really weird to me about a lot of the other War Thunder streamers. Is... They're trying too hard? I'm not sure how to put it. Because it's like, it, it just, just have fun. And everybody does things differently. Engineering is a very complex field, and you build things based on your needs. I love seeing the differences that different countries have taken towards solving the same problem. I think it's... Just beautiful to behold. Uh, I've always just kind of been the type that I would prefer to say positives where I can. It's a uh, kind of like a good rule of thumb is the idea of you shouldn't talk about someone if they're not around, and if you do talk about someone when they're not around, try to only say positive things. What is that? <laughs> A melted mushroom. what's down here. I don't feel I should be here yet. This seems like death.
<laughs> a lot of people do. It's just a very common thing. It's like... It's one of the most human things there is, is gossip. Because for millennia, that's what we had. You know, what, what else was there? You can sit and stare at the grass blowing or something. Or, ooh, stare at the fire. That's about all you got. So the best you got is stories from people. And gossip evolves. So, yeah. I try not to find fault in people for it. It's more my own personal philosophy than anything. I don't necessarily think it's correct. It's just the way that I've found works best for me. Safest for me. <laughs> Might be one way to set it. Fire on top. Where was fire? Siafra River Well. It's just a little building. It's like a little collection of buildings right there. Uh, this spot right here probably has something at the end of the road. I've also had people... I remember in college, um, when people would have conversations with me, I actually had one uh, roommate in college that kept track of our conversations because he found it interesting how much I could switch subject and everything being related because of just how my brain works. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Yeah, okay, I get it. But I remember he wrote a list. We had been talking for like 45 minutes to an hour and he made a list of the subjects that we touched on during that time period. And it was like 20 different subjects that we had hit. Who is this? What is it? Be wary of something. Praise the something. Useful. The other thing is I've been told by people that um, I'm very good at talking for hours and saying nothing. You're still big nothing. Yeah, it's good to have like uh, a topic and stuff you can always fall back on uh, when you need to talk about stuff. The engineering shit's easy for me to do. And especially computers and electronics where half of what I'm doing is playing games. So, yeah, I can sit and talk about computers for hours. And it's like, oh boy, let's talk about the amount of linear algebra that goes into producing a 3D image on the screen. You know, how do you make a 2D image look 3D at all times? Because last time I checked, monitor's flat. Yeah. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it is have some topics and stuff that you know a lot about and just fall back on them every time you can. What's this? Third Church of Marica. I don't know if I was supposed to take that. Um, it feels like that might have been a mistake. For some reason, I feel a mistake from that. I feel a big mistake from that. 
All right, let's see, what's this? Behold, just getting started. Behold, stone astrolabe. Is GTA 6 ever going to be a thing? Do you think they're just going to rebrand GTA 5 as 6? This is Rockstar we're talking. And honestly, after how they've handled GTA 5, I couldn't give a damn about GTA 6. <laughs> yes. Well, how long has 5 been out now? Like 10 years? It's been a while. I don't think people remember just how old it is. I have GTA 5. I played uh, multiplayer a good amount back in the day. Um, but it's just not what it used to be. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. They rebranded GTA 5 into GTA Online. They certainly did. Yes, let's do that. Yeah. Slam. What is what is that? <laughs> it's like a Mario move. <laughs> That's de there's definitely some uh, bizarrity to that for sure. Wondrous physique. What is this? Restores half of total HP, temporarily boosts stamina, enhances charged attacks. Uh, I guess? I'm not sure what to do there. How does that work? Uh, do I just have... I do. I get one use of Flask of Wondrous Physique. That's... that's kind of neat. Whoa, what is that thing? Wow. You ugly. You look like you got an empty feeling in the pit of your stomach. Alright, if I head back down to here. Okay, this is the other side of that bridge I was on. Oh, what's this? It's like a sunken thing. I'm not sure what. Okay. Um. Let's go see. Pick up item. Hello. Goodbye. You're fine. Don't worry about me. You're good.
There's one down. are definitely not tough but if you're not careful they will get a drop on you rescuing the great Kenneth Height ah uh, yes the great absolutely I know of them sure I think that's all of them. <laughs> Waiting for chest two. Yeah, when is chest two supposed to come out? Oh, that's another YouTuber I follow, uh, CGP Gray. He did a really good video on hexagon chess and how to play it. I'd recommend it. It's pretty good. Is he? Is he up there? Kenneth, yes, I hear you. I'm coming. There he is. Oh. Kenneth, will you shut up? No, I came to tell you to be quiet. You're going to attract everything around you. appreciated even from a tarnished despite appearances nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order you might have heard of me kenneth height next in line is the rightful ruler of limgrave young tarnished i would have a boon of you i want you to take back my fort it lies to the south beyond the mistwood the knight commander beyond the mistwood took it, a fool Mm. Simply obsessed with blood. Right. So I could go and get his castle back? He said to the south. Uh oh, it might be this way. What are you waiting for? My A kiss goodbye. <laughs> well, now that you mention it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Uh, nobles. No, that one didn't have any. Oh, wait, he said south. That'd be that way. give myself one more strength. No idea if that's the right move, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You know, I bet that some monsters and stuff only spawn during certain times of the day.
Also, yeah, I think for the month of October, I'm going to try and play more uh, spooky games. And I think one of the ones I'm going to do would be Project Zomboid. Oh wait, it might be that that he's talking about. Could it be? No, oh, let's just follow this road and see where it goes then. If nothing else, maybe I'll find a couple more uh, teleport locations. Fire hurts. Got him. Well, I took out his horse, I guess. Drop nothing. Not a thing. Lame. I'm not even going to try and deal with some with some spear users. All right, uh, go catch up a little power nap for yourself then. I have not received one, a single more subscriber. We are still at 197. Yep, hopefully. This this guy's not even paying attention. Be wary of dragon. What half of these items are. Seek item and then dragon. What does that even mean? Boost rune acquisition. Okay, so that's just a temporary item. Not a ton of use there. Not yet, anyway. not somewhere I want to be. 
Point ruins. And uh, let's see, from over here, I should be able to see. Okay, there's that keep, I think. What is that thing? It's floating. It's a bug. He's carrying the thing. Well, not anymore. Yeah, I think that is the thing Kenneth was talking about. This one over here. There's a small structure up there on the hill, but I don't believe that's the one he meant. Might be a grace point over here. Possible. See any though. I thought maybe I could get one. It didn't happen. All right, that's one. Yeah, I didn't drop nothing. Good job. Nothing. Jump like a madman enough, you can get anywhere. Starlight shard. Hey, I remember this spot. I haven't been on this side of it, but I remember it. Brass shield. I didn't even need to buy the kite shield. They gave me one. Oh, 
don't know how he didn't see me. I guess I got lucky. A smithing stone. We dropped a thing. Ugh. Um, let's see here. I gotta deal with some of these. Got him. Okay. It deals with them. Another shield. Well, I guess I can sell one. Works pretty well when you charge it up. I switched my blade out on me. Come on. Got him. All right. Some raisins. That's what he had on him. Raisins. Nice. That's interesting. 
The house scroll. I what that does. Okay, the rest of them are dealt with. I think I can go down there and finish off the rest. He thought he could yell at me and get me. On, doggies, let's -a go. I don't know how long they last for, though. Hello there, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Be quiet. Nobody wants to listen to your music. <laughs> okay, they're dealt with. And let's see, that's that little building. That's definitely not it. Okay, so it must be that other one I was heading towards that way. This way? East. Yep. I'm not very far in it, but it's going good. I've played like uh, a lot of their other games. I beat Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1. Um, and I think Dark Souls 2, but I don't believe I ever beat Dark Souls 3. I think I'm about halfway through that one. don't feel like there's many good spots to drop down. Nope, I don't feel like playing with the wolves right now. I'm heading towards that castle. The keep, anyway. Yep, playing Elden Ring and on the road to 200 subs. There it is. I knew there had to be one around it. Nope, I only stream on YouTube. I wanted to keep it simple for now because I'm just starting out, but I think maybe later on I might start up doing multiple ones. Or at least multiple platforms anyway. But for now, I'm just kind of sticking with YouTube. Oh, 
Oh, I see it's a ballista out front. Hmm. I can go around to get inside. <laughs> With how silly the jumping is, you might be able to just get up there. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, coming through, pardon me. Oh, pardon me, coming through. Don't mind me. Pay no attention. Oh look, it's Pumpkin Man. Hello, Pumpkin Man. That might be the person that Kenneth was talking about. Oh, someone's getting injured over there. It's harder than I expected. Okay, he weren't too strong. That must not have been the person Kenneth told me about. Or at least I wouldn't think it was for how quickly they went down. Wait, you can take crossbow out and shoot at me? You wanna play with my wolves? Come here, boys. Go get them. Good doggies. Tear them up. What do you think you're doing? Don't hurt my dog. I don't think I can take the horse inside. What is that? It's like a giant corpse. Nice. <laughs> nice. There's one up there. What does that say? Still no dragon. Hmm. 
you probably need a little bit more than a nap, I'd imagine. Ain't that the truth, life of a college student? That is very true. It do be that way, especially once finals roll around. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't think so. Um, it's very dark in here. A whole lot in here. Uh, debt sucks, but I am totally considering going back to college just to, uh, <laughs> extend my student loans. <laughs> As you know, if you become a lifetime student, um, you never have to pay them off. Because <laughs> you're still a student. Yeah, mine was mostly loans, unfortunately. But I went into engineering, so uh, my pay was decent. It's not amazing, but it's stable. Oh my. Wow. Expecting that. Smacked me. Nice. Flight school for... Uh, commercial or flight school going to her officer in the military? Honestly, if I went commercial for flight school, I think the one thing that I would want to do would be a bush pilot. Because I think that sounds like the most fun. So did you take ROTC the whole time you were in college? Or are you just going to, um, oh, what is it, OCS after? Master's Shock. Um, no, I lost all my points. That's right. I don't have any left. Nope, oh, let's head back to the church. Oh, God, MPs. MPs, I hear, are, like, the worst thing to be because even the military don't like you. Like, the rest of your- rest of the people don't even like you. <laughs> That'd be such a tough job to deal with.
Oh, wait a minute. What would that say about Mistwood? What is it? The Howling in Mistwood. The howl of a wolf in the Mistwood. Also, does anybody else get Santa Claus vibes from this guy? I know. I kind of do. Why not meet for sure. For yourself? Next time you hear the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Ah, oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just had an inkling the two of you might hit it off. That's weird. Finger snap. A wolf howl in the mistwood. What's what's the mist? Is this the mistwood? Over here? I hear it can be easier to become a pilot if you go Navy versus Air Force for some reason. Sometimes it's easier to get in. Okay, Mistwood Outskirts. It must be in here. Um, I kind of want to go see what that thingy is. Give me a finger snap. I imagine it's a dog or something. Uh, gestures. How do I access my gestures? I do not see. Oh, I see. Okay. Navy has a different program where you live. I mean, personally, I'd rather be in the Air Force anyway. If I was going to pick one. <laughs> you know, pick the one that eats real good. <laughs> Can do their PT test on a bike. There it is. All right, let's see if I can get into the Mistwood and do this. I want to see. I'm gonna guess it's near the center. Maybe this spot right here. A big bear. Yeah, I'm going to guess that whatever he was talking about is going to be over here. There it was. I just heard a howl. Where was that? Hello? What's that? 
This thing looks like it's gonna kill me very fast. Hello? Hi? Um... How are you? Who goes there? Hi. Sent you, did he? Okay, so you're friendly. The bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrow. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Yeah, my grandfather was Air Force and a uh, jet engine mechanic on the Voodoos. And in need of a fitting end to his tale. Hmm. Darrowell is not in need of a fitting end. As if I, um, snap at him. Will he be mad? Nope. Okay. Yo, big bear right there. Roll through. Nope. I'm not sure why I'm here. What was I looking for? He just told me to come snap my fingers here and that was it. You never really give any other instructions. <laughs> the locust is fun. It's like the chaffy. I made it. I didn't realize he'd just go smashing everything. Oh, wow. Oh, my. I guess this is one way. This works. I don't think you can come down here. Oh, come on. My favorite movie. Hmm. That's a tough one. I would almost say the first Matrix. I think that one was heavily influential in my life. Who we sleeping? I don't want to wake him up. Is there anything else down here? No, nah, it don't look like it. Played the half wolf. You should be about right here. Is 
see them. Not really sure where they're supposed to spawn. I gotta take a short break. I'll be right back in a moment. Right, I'm back. Yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna make 200. I've been four hours now playing Elden Ring. Try going up there. I haven't done that yet. Although I'm not sure if I'm supposed to help Kenneth first. I feel like maybe that's a thing I'm supposed to do. Oh, I think in terms of other movies, though, that I like, um, let's see. Uh, I think Event Horizon is a fun movie, especially <laughs> with the knowledge that it is a lot like Warhammer 40k, and the idea being that that first ship was an experimental drive to go through the warp. And the reason why it ends up with so many horrific things in it is because it went through the warp. Just go quickly. Run, run, run fast. Wait. 
Got it. Inside the castle, here I am. I'm gonna kill you peeps so hard. It's a summon sign. I haven't actually seen any of those yet. Neat. Uh, what are they? Looks like a wizard. Uh, I'm not gonna do it yet. I should at least see what the boss looks like before summoning him. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? You think I should switch games? Or do you think I should just keep playing Elden Ring? Uh-oh. Well, that's very rude. What are you to call me foul? Look at you. Oh, you got some big hops. I think I'm going to try fighting this guy a bit. Or at least see what he's like, because I think he's going to just kill me real quick. That's a big stick. Is he just gonna smack me with a stick? Yeah, he, he's totally just gonna smack me with a stick. First, yeah, yeah, I'd say so. There you go. Help me, puppies. Uh oh. Get out! Made it to halfway. I almost, uh, I'm almost wondering if the jellyfish would have been easier. Better one to go with. I'm not sure what I need to summon them though. I don't, I haven't fully figured out what does it. got me. Bam. Bones fails, fire a thousand arrows at him. Okay, well that didn't go great. We get what causes the the spirit thing. Who is this? This might be like an NPC summon. 
Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Rogier. It's Roger, but a bit Rogier. Co-operator. Let's see how you do. Hello. Hey. Jellyfish, come to my aid. Wondrous jelly. Okay, there. Got my souls. I don't think I had a whole lot, but I've got them back now. Get over there! Cut this guy's tail off. It strikes me as that kind of boss. You jellyfish, you did it. I'm so strong. A jerk. I shall remember thee, Thank you, Roger. You were a great help. Also, you, jellyfish. Castle. Well, this one looks long. Oh, hello there. Welcome. Forgive me. I've been testing you to see whether or not Grace truly does guide you, and whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hole, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Sure. Very well. Let's go. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. That's a very, uh, that's a really weird fact. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's funny you bring that up. I've been thinking about playing, uh, Shogun Total War 2.
Neat. What is this? Rest at table of lost grace. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Um, nice necklace. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach in. I mean, you look more like a man of the wheel. By the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the golden order, so that one day. If a tarnished of the round table hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Yeah, definitely. Oh, some heal spells. Okay, so it requires ten faith. And what about these? Oh, these are faith too. Okay. I'm not really sure what's the point of that one. Maybe for light? Oh, that one could be useful. Roger wouldn't have had to die if I had that. May the golden order shine. First off, good luck. <laughs> okay. First off, fire. Oh, hello. I barely saw you there. Oh, what is that is rare, okay. thing you have? Is it like a scepter? The last time a new it's very strange. Also, you look like a very witch well. king of Nazgul. As or the Nazgul. Whatever one they are. A little bit of a weird cross between a Corinthian helm and a something. <laughs> go to bed. I am thinking about it. Brain starting to go wibble wobbly. The brain is just a bunch of wibbly wobbly stuff. It is me. I am the Elden Ring. Um, oh, who's this fancy looking dude? Ah, hello. He must be new here. You uh, look like a Castlevania character, is what you look like. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment, and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. I will try to remember. I can guarantee I won't, though. She's a servant. She's been my I've lost count of the number of times I've had to... Honestly. She's so... Oh, Coliseum combat. Yikes. Um, <laughs> I, I think I'm good there. What's here, anyway? This is a cool little place. Okay. Um. Sure. Doesn't want to talk, but he's just like, watch me, I'm cool. Now you can be cool too. Oh. Hello? Twin Maiden Husk. Interesting. Well, they have some good armor and stuff on them. Oh, a spear. I hadn't come across any spears yet. I usually love having one.
I think I'm gonna buy this. At the very least. Probably not much else right now until I know. A bell bearing. Is that like a ball bearing, but it jingles? Raise the message. Um, okay. Uh, good. Sure. Why not? There you go. It was great. Yeah, excellent. Good job. You did excellent. You tricked everybody into clicking that. Oh, what's down there? Oh, that must be the gladiator combat thing. Sadness ahead. Oops, I broke it. Oh, no, my, my clumsy self. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, I broke your chair. Nice. 198, we're nearly there. I can go to sleep. Oh. <laughs> I'm starting to get very tired myself. <laughs> I am at, we're at four and a half hours now of playing Elden Ring. Why even let me have the open button? It's just going to be blocked shut. I just realized there's no place to like level up in here. Um, and I have like a ton of souls. I should really spend them. Let's see, do these require a thing still to use them? Like, um, I can't remember what it was in, a talisman, that's what it was. It was a talisman, I think, in the other games. Cure poison, fortification, rejection. I think this is one I wanna get and kind of work towards using. I was kind of hoping there'd be a mage here, but the closest we got is those twin husk sisters. There's nothing left. And he doesn't have anything. And all this person did was ignore me. Edge Lord. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go check what those twin husks have to sell. And then I'll head back to the real world. We've got these. I guess I should buy them just to have them. A longbow? I could add a longbow to my arsenal. That could be useful. Open to summons for rescue. Okay. That could be fun. I'd enjoy doing that. Okay. Good to know. I said I can just go back to the world, I guess. Oh man, 199, nice. You guys rock, you're awesome. Don't ever forget that. I take screenshots uh, from my phone on YouTube Studio when I meet certain milestones. Also because I like seeing um, some of the users that have subscribed so that I can keep them 
in my memories for later on. I just think it's a nice touch. And so, you know, after I've <laughs> gotten a lot more subscribers, I can remember who was my 20th. Nice. Well, thank you so much for being here. Blade. Blade. His name is Blade. He's boorish, blunt, and couldn't find his nose with both hands. But he's a good egg. I think the two of you are sure to find the best in one another. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not sure what you're implying by that. And I'm going to let it slide. Uh oh, that's what these are for. I haven't used any of these things because I didn't know what they were for. I'd forgotten all about them. Nope, oh, that's the wrong button. Um, how many runes? 1,200, 800, 400, 200. All you. It does matter. The more people that are in a stream, or regularly in a stream, the more it will get advertised to people. So, just by you staying in the stream, it's probably helped push it out to others. So, thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> nice. Excellent roommate. You're making sure he gets the best out of life. Yep, subscribe to me if you want all the greatest things to happen in your life. Um, you can have me as a good luck charm in your life. Thirty-nine ninety-four. All right, let's just spend all of these. Let's just use all of them, and I'm gonna spend them all. Ooh, it only uses one at a time. That's rough. Yeah, and the other thing is, like, if I break 200, I'm gonna get that tank. I had already agreed to that. I think it was the T55 BM. One of those. In the Soviet tree. All the points. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Good points. Okay. That'll let me use that um, healing ability I picked up. Uh, I haven't really needed... Either of those more. I could get this. That might help me wear a little bit heavier equipment. That might be the best one to go with. Right now. Okay. I add that. Oh, it's under equipment. I need to go into equipment to change it. I kind of wish they'd let you set up a couple of, like, equipment profiles, maybe? Because having to scroll through all the ones in the bottom D pad to get to what I want, and if I miss it, I have to go all the way around again. It doesn't seem like the best solution. Wow, that's excellent spyglass. 
Mmm, got some real zoom on this. Oh well, good to have. Equipment. What have I got for stuff? Oh, that spear. I wanted to equip that. Oh, I already had a long bow. I thought I had a short bow. It wasn't. It was a long bow. And then shield. Got a couple new shields. Oh, I'm already considered under heavy load equip. That takes me down to medium load. Clunk. Clunk. Nah, I've got too many things equipped. Oh, I see. It actually does count all your stuff. Oh. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Hmm. I guess I am going to want to focus on getting some uh, points out. He's mad at you. <laughs> it is 4.30 in the morning. Although I suppose it depends on what kind of stuff you can do. Nice. You can still do it. I think there was one of the games that they removed the ability to stab while shielded. Yeah, uh, sword and spear, or, uh, spear and shield would be my Dark Souls 1 playthrough. It's what I mostly used. And... Dark Souls 2, I beat with, I believe, a two-handed greatsword. Was the weapon that I used. I feel like I'm starting to go cross-eyed here. Kenneth. Let's go check this place out. You haven't been there yet. I actually wonder how if the uh, the spear should be really good on horseback. I feel. I'm curious if it is. That could be useful. Okay.
I see some guards or something over in here. In this little ruin. What is that? Oh, it's like a dog. It's a very different kind of dog. It's like a like a poodle. <laughs> it looks like. They even got a collar on him. Actually, kind of got a face like a terrier. He looked at me wrong. Uh, so I thought he should suffer for it. Nice. Two hundo. Thank you so much to everybody for making that possible. Almost five hours of Elden Ring, but we did it. So I'm gonna finish up some of the stuff I'm doing around here, and then call it good. But it'll probably be another 15 minutes or so. Well, let's see. That's exciting. Yep, thanks to everybody for making it possible. Because it just ain't possible without the subscribers and the fans. <laughs> it's a bunch of rats. Turn back. Trap. Okay. Nice. Well, thank you to your roommate. Tell him thank you from me. And that, I appreciate that. Gross looking dog. <laughs> Crab eggs. Delicious. And went back to bed. <laughs> well, I hope he has a real good rest then. He deserves it. Get in there. Have I already been in there? Is that what I already did? <laughs> they sure do. There, that's one way to get in. Okay, so is this one the real one and the other one was a trap? Be wary of trap, is it? No trap. You... Ugh. Are you ready? 
Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Eh. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Maybe I can nudge it. Let's see. Mm. Okay, let's just do it. Okay, it was. Good. Twin blade. What's that? What? What is it, though? Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. I just want to see what it is. Oh. Darth Maul. Okay. I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Darth Maul. Say hi to this group of people. Uh, probably as soon as I can figure out how to two hand. Oh, Jesus! I'm getting out of here. That is not something I want to be around. No, I'm good. I'm out. See ya. Oh no, don't look at me like that. Come on, leave me alone. And then I fell. <laughs> nice, good job. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think that's going to be everything for tonight. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Thank you to every subscriber that joined and every subscriber that helped. <sighs> so, until tomorrow, when I start ground combat for War Thunder, and it is the start of October, so we are going to play some spooky games so until then everybody have a good night take care and goodbye <laughs>